the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. First of all, there's three of them. They have the regular tinted moisturizer, which is broad spectrum SPF 20 for like, I would say dry to normal skin. And then you have the oil-free version if you have super oily skin. And then they have the illuminating version, which is kind of like, I threw up glitter on this tinted moisturizer. If you were to mix your foundation with your moisturizer, a tinted moisturizer is essentially what you would get. So the one that I have is just the regular tinted moisturizer, broad spectrum SPF 20. This one comes in about 15 shades, whereas the other two, I believe, come in 13 for the oil-free and five for the illuminating. This is the darkest shade for Laura Mercier. It is called Mocha, dabbing it onto my skin. It looks significantly lighter, but once it's blended out, it just looks absolutely seamless, and it looks just like your skin. But better. It gives skin a healthy, no makeup look with a hint of color that evens and enhances without hiding the skin. Whenever I apply it, I just always feel like I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup, if that makes any sense. I like to apply it without setting it or anything like that, so my skin still has that like really nice, healthy glow to it. I've gotten a lot of compliments since I started wearing this tinted moisturizer, and I do wear it to work. Anybody who knows me knows I hate putting on a full face of makeup for work. There are people who can do that. I'm just not one of those people. So having a tinted moisturizer is definitely a saving grace in terms of my skincare, my makeup routine. I like something that's quick and easy. If I don't really feel like doing a full face of makeup, I can just throw this on. It just My skin just looks super healthy and just super hydrated and moisturized and it just has a really nice dewy glow to it. This runs for about $44 in the US and $56 or $57 here in Canada. Regardless, this is still pretty expensive, but you get 50 milliliters. It's not runny at all. It's just a really, really thick and creamy moisturizer. And when you put it on the back of your hand to apply to your face, it definitely looks like it's gonna be super heavy. It looks like it's just gonna stifle your skin. But I promise you, once you put it on, it just kind of like has a moisturizer consistency. There are a few ways that you could apply this. I like to use my beauty blender to do it but I've also used my fingers. My least favorite way is with a brush. I just don't think it works very well. I find that I lose a lot of the product whenever I apply this with a brush. But with my Beauty Blender, I just have it dampened. I apply the moisturizer directly onto the back of my hand and then I just kind of mix it up with my finger just to warm it up a little bit because having it warm just helps it to spread a lot better into the skin. Spread it all over my face and use my Beauty Blender and just pat it out. And I just, I blend until I can't see anything and I blend until it just kind of looks like a upgraded version of my skin. And then I just go about and continue doing the rest of my makeup so I will do my contour and I do a very very minimum highlighter and then just to give myself a nice little extra glow I use the hourglass lighting powder and this is in radiant light one of my favorite ones but I just kind of use that and I just apply it to my cheekbones and everything like that whenever I'm using the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer I like to use products that are on the wetter side so I like to use finely milled powders like the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And I also like to use a foundation stick for my contour. So this is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick and this is an Espresso number 10. Spread it on the areas of my face that I want to contour and then I blend it out with my Beauty Blender. As you can see during this entire process of me applying it, I use very little products in terms of brushes. Uh, the Beauty Blender does definitely take the cake for the chunk of the makeup that I am applying, but the Tinted Moisturizer is just really great for everyday wear. It's really great if you want to wear makeup but not really. Um, if you're just one of those people like me who just don't really have time or energy to do a full face of makeup, then I highly recommend the this tinted moisturizer. It's definitely been holy grail status for me. And the upside too is that it is SPF 20. So I feel like it would be just super awesome for the summertime. Plus it has vitamin C and E in it, which is definitely supposed to rejuvenate and heal the skin and just hydrate it and just keep it moisturized. and you know, nourished and everything like that. I don't really have anything bad to say about this product, really. I really, really like it. And I know I'm late to the game because I'm pretty sure this stuff has been around for maybe like four or five years now, uh, based on what I've seen online and on YouTube. 
it's definitely been around for a while. This is something that you can wear for multiple skin types, but also you can wear it multiple seasons. You can wear this year round. It comes in a squeeze tube like this, which is really great for, you know, application. And also too, when you're running out, the best thing about this is you can literally squeeze everything out of here. So in terms of product loss, you're not going to get too much of that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you want to see next in the comment section below. I do have some requests coming in. I'm just kind of trying to decide which one I want to do next. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I will catch you later. Bye.